Okay, students, today we're going to talk about ratios and proportions. We're going to start off talking about ratios, and then we're going to dive into proportions. First, we have to ask, what is a ratio? A ratio is a comparison by division. And more specifically, if A and B are numbers, the ratio of A to B is given by the fraction A over B, and it is sometimes expressed in a different way, A and then a colon and then B. So a couple of very quick examples. The ratio of 5 to 7 basically means we're looking at 5 over 7, or 5 sevenths. And the ratio of 12 to 8 is 12 eighths. However, we are generally going to reduce ratios, just like we reduce regular fractions. 12 and 8 are both divisible by 4, so if we reduce by a factor of 4, that gives us 3 halves. What this says is that 12 is 3 halves as big as 8. It gives us a number, a numerical way, of comparing the size of the two quantities that we're starting with. Now, these two examples were pretty basic. We're just taking the numbers, putting them in a fraction, and reducing if we need to. Things get more complicated when we're looking at quantities that have units. So for example, let's find the ratio of two feet to eight inches. Now, we can't just say that the ratio is two eighths. That's not correct. And the reason is we have units and these two quantities are using two different units. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to perform a conversion so that we can represent them with the same units and then we can have our ratio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 2 feet over 8 inches. We are allowed to write it like this with the units, but what we're going to have to do is change it so that they use the same units and then we can simplify. So here we've got feet and inches and we know that one foot is 12 inches. So we can convert this from feet to inches. If one foot is 12 inches, then two feet has to be 24 inches, 12 times two. So this is the same as 24 inches. And so this becomes 24 inches over eight inches. And once we have the same unit, we can drop the units. We can write this as just 24 over 8. Now this can be reduced. Those are both divisible by 8. If we reduce them by a factor of 8, we get 3 over 1. And we're going to leave this like that. We're not going to write it just as 3. We're going to write it as 3 over 1. Because if we write it in the other format with the colon, this becomes 3 to 1. This 1 is actually kind of necessary. So it's best to write a ratio as a fraction, and if the denominator is 1, then the denominator just happens to be 1. Because this ratio is 3 to 1, that's how we read this, 3 to 1, this means that the original length, 2 feet, is 3 times as large as the other length, which is 8 inches. Now usually I actually draw this on a whiteboard or a chalkboard, I draw 2 feet and I draw 8 inches. Now it's not quite the same with an iPad because I can't actually draw something that's 2 feet in length. But if we did this and we drew out 8 inches 3 times, my drawing's clearly not perfect. I should have made this a little bit shorter. But basically 2 feet is three times as long as eight inches. 
the ratio of these quantities is three to one because two feet is three times as long as eight inches. So whenever we're dealing with a ratio and we've got different units, we need to convert them so that we're using the same units in each. Let's do one more and then we can move on to proportions. Let's find the ratio of one cup to two pints. Again, we start by putting one cup over two pints, but we're going to have to perform a conversion to convert either cups to pints or pints to cups. Now I recognize that this might not be a conversion that you know, so you might have to look up some of these conversions when you're doing these problems. I want to tell you if there are any problems on a quiz or a test in this class that involves ratios and you have to perform a conversion, it's going to be a conversion that you've seen in the problems in class, so in these videos, or on the homework. So you're not going to see any new conversions on a quiz or a test that you haven't already gotten practice with on a problem in the videos, in class, or on the homework. All right. So when it's the first time we're doing one of these, we can look up the conversion. We can see that one pint is equal to two cups. So if each pint is equal to two cups and we've got two pints, that's going to be equal to four cups. So when we convert to cups, this ratio becomes one cup to four cups or one cup over four cups. And once they have the same unit, we can get rid of the units. And so this ratio becomes one fourth, or if you prefer writing it the other way, one to four, either one of these is an acceptable answer. You can look at the videos linked below for more of these examples, and then check out the proportion video, which is next.